Mike, the Erie County Sheriff's Office once again defending its controversial cell phone spying program, and now the Sheriff's Office is blaming lawmakers for not stepping in sooner to draw up rules for that program. So when I was News reporter Kendra Eaglin is here with more on this tonight. Yeah, Joanna, this all comes on the heels of Assemblyman Sean Ryan's request to the state's top legal officer to investigate that surveillance program, which the Sheriff's Office admits has never had any official legal guidelines. The $350,000 device is called the Stingray, and it's been used a total of 52 times since it was purchased by the Sheriff's Office. And Assemblyman Sean Ryan says in each of those cases, a search warrant was never obtained. And that's the big problem the Assemblymen and many others have with that spying program. Ryan also fears that innocent people's phone calls, texts, and other personal information may also get caught up in these investigations. If they had a criminal suspect in mind that they'd like to aim this device at, it's the wrong device because it's too broad. So if they aim this device at a suspect, it doesn't just pick up that suspect's cell phone data. It picks up every user within a mile. I would ask that Mr. Ryan do his research into uh, what the device does what we're using it for, and to ask him to go back and already do his job and be a leader and provide law enforcement agencies with guidelines, help out law enforcement agencies instead of attacking them. Well, details about this program first became public after the New York Civil Liberties Union filed a lawsuit against the Sheriff's Office to learn more about the surveillance equipment. The Sheriff's Office initially claimed it could not release any information about it because of a confidentiality agreement with the FBI. Now, Assemblyman Sean Ryan wants the Attorney General's Public Integrity Bureau to carry out this investigation. will, of course, continue to monitor any developments with the story.